Ever wondered if deleting items from your computer really makes them disappear forever? Welcome to the world of tech myths where misconceptions and misunderstandings run rampant. Our digital lives are filled with these myths, some of which we've accepted as total truth. But today we're about to turn the tables. We're here to debunk these myths and shed light on the real facts. In this video, we'll explore a variety of tech myths that have been around for years. We'll talk about the belief that more megapixels necessarily mean better photos, the notion that Macs don't get viruses, the idea that leaving your phone plugged in damages the battery, and the assumption that private or incognito mode makes you completely anonymous online. Each of these misconceptions, we will take apart and reveal the truth behind them. So buckle up, because it's time to challenge what you think you know about technology. Stay tuned to uncover the truth behind these common tech myths. Our first myth is that more megapixels means better photos. Is it true? Let's dive into this. The megapixel myth has been around for a while and it's easy to see why. Megapixels or millions of pixels are what our images are composed of. The more of them, the better the image quality, right? Well, not exactly. Yes, megapixels do play a role in image quality, but they are not the only determining factor. For instance, let's consider the sensor size. A larger sensor can gather more light, resulting in a better image, especially in low-light conditions. So, a camera with fewer megapixels but a larger sensor may outperform a high-megapixel camera with a smaller sensor. Now, let's talk about lens quality. A high-quality lens can accurately focus light onto the sensor, resulting in sharper images. So again, a camera with fewer megapixels but a superior lens might produce better photos than a camera with a high megapixel count and a lesser quality lens. Lastly, we can't overlook the importance of image processing. This involves how the camera's software interprets the raw data from the sensor to produce the final image. Superior image processing can make a significant difference in image quality, regardless of the megapixel count. So, there you have it. While megapixels aren't irrelevant, they aren't the be-all and end-all of image quality. Other aspects can be just as, if not more, important. So more megapixels doesn't necessarily mean better photos. Next up is a popular myth, Macs don't get viruses. Can we rely on this belief? Now let's dive into this one. For many years, Mac users have basked in the notion that their systems are invulnerable to the viruses that plague the Windows world. But is this actually true? Let's get this straight. Macs are not immune to malware. Yes, you heard it right. While it's true that Macs are not as susceptible as Windows computers, they can and do get viruses. The reason for this lower susceptibility is primarily due to the fact that there are fewer Macs in use globally compared to Windows PCs, making them less attractive to cyber criminals. However, as Macs continue to gain popularity, they are increasingly becoming targets of cyber threats. In fact, a report from Malwarebytes in 2023 stated that Mac threats increased by over 400% in just one year. So, what does this mean for you? Simply put, even if you're a Mac user, you need to take proper cybersecurity measures. Install reliable antivirus software, keep your system updated, and be cautious of suspicious emails and websites. It's not just about the type of system you use, it's also about how you use it. Remember, no system is entirely immune to viruses. Whether you're a Windows enthusiast or a Mac aficionado, it's essential to stay informed and vigilant in the face of potential cyber threats. Our third myth is that leaving your phone plugged in damages the battery. Does it really? Well, let's delve into the details of this one. This myth has been circulating since the dawn of the smartphone era. The fear is that by leaving your phone plugged in, you're overcharging the battery and thereby reducing its lifespan. It's a notion that seems to make sense on the surface, right? After all, we've all noticed how our devices heat up when they're charging for extended periods. But here's the twist. Modern smartphones are much smarter than we give them credit for. These devices come equipped with advanced charging technology that's designed to protect the battery. Once your phone's battery hits that magic number, 100%, the charging automatically stops. That's right, your phone knows when to say, enough is enough. So, even if you leave your phone plugged in overnight or for an entire day, it isn't continuously charging. Your phone's smart technology ensures it only sips power to maintain that full charge, but it does not overcharge. This means that the potential damage to your battery from so-called overcharging is virtually non-existent. So, there you have it. Another tech myth debunked. The fear of leaving your phone plugged in damaging your battery is, in most cases, not happening. So, 
you can leave your phone plugged in without worrying about damaging the battery. Remember, it's all about smart charging and our smartphones are indeed pretty smart. Our final myth is that private or incognito mode makes you anonymous. Is it really that simple? Well, let's dive into this. The concept of privacy on the internet is a hot topic, and the idea of going incognito or using private browsing has been perceived as a one-click solution to online privacy. But is it? Not quite. While going incognito does prevent your browser from storing your search history, cookies, or site data, it doesn't make you invisible on the World Wide Web. It's like cleaning your kitchen after cooking, it gets rid of the evidence, but the act of cooking itself was still visible to anyone in the house. Your internet service provider, or ISP, can still see your online activity. They know the websites you've visited and when you've visited them. Your employer, if you're using a work computer, can also monitor your online behavior. And the websites you visit? They've got your IP address which can be used to track your general location and other data. So, while private browsing might keep your secrets safe from family members or friends who use the same device, it doesn't hide your activity from everyone. In essence, incognito mode isn't a magic invisibility cloak, it's more like a broom that sweeps up your footprints, but that's about it. So, remember, incognito mode isn't a cloak of invisibility. Well, it seems like we've busted some common tech myths today. In this journey of debunking, we've uncovered some truths about technology that may have surprised you. We've seen that a higher megapixel count doesn't necessarily translate to better photos. The quality of a photo hinges on a multitude of factors like sensor size, lens quality, and lighting conditions. Then we dived into the popular belief that Macs are immune to viruses. As it turns out, no operating system is completely invincible. While Macs may have a lower risk, they are not entirely impervious to cyber threats. Then we explored the myth about leaving your phone plugged in all the time. We found that modern smartphones are smart enough to stop charging when they're full. So, no, leaving your phone plugged in won't necessarily damage your battery. Lastly, we pierced the veil of privacy and anonymity that many believe is offered by private or incognito browsing modes. These modes don't make you anonymous, they simply don't store your browsing history on your device. Your online activities can still be tracked by your internet service provider or the websites you visit. These revelations show the importance of staying informed and questioning commonly held beliefs about technology. In an ever-evolving world of tech, it's crucial to understand the facts and not get swayed by misconceptions. We'd love to know. Were you surprised by any of these mythbusters, or maybe you've heard of other tech myths that need debunking? Let's continue this journey of discovery and learning together. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment sharing your thoughts, and subscribe to What's Good for more content on your favorite tech. Hope you enjoyed and come back for more of What's Good.